This is Dominique Thomas, and watching Average Joe Sports Talk. Dominique Thomas, running back, Ohio High School. All right, Dominique, uh, you're the featured back uh, in a very dominant downhill running attack, something that's kind of a lost art form in today's football with so many teams spreading it around and throwing it all over the field. Can you talk to us about how it is, what you feel like to play in a, a running game like that? Uh, I feel very good. I know you have to be physical, especially at running back. And that's my favorite thing about football is the physicality. I like it, man. Um, coach Martin is an amazing coach. Uh, what's it like playing under him, just overall experience? Um, it's very good. He's a great leader, and he's taught me a lot about leadership these years that I've been playing for him. Now, your whole career, Coach Martin's been there during your whole career. Right? Yeah. That's been good. I'm sure you guys do have a really good relationship. We do. Um, on that same note, what's it like playing down on what we call the Creek Bank on Friday nights in Ohatchee? Uh, it's great. The fans, the crowd, they're all very supportive of anything we do. And the games are very exciting because they're in, very into it. Uh, you guys travel pretty well in the road games too, I've noticed that. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Uh, you wear number seven. Now, is there some sort of meaning behind that or is that just a random number you ended up with? Um, when I was three, I started playing t-ball, and my mom told me to pick an even number. So, <laughs> I don't know what even number is, so I picked seven. I guess that's where that came from. Yeah. Uh, as you stuck with it ever since, you ever changed? Uh, seventh and eighth grade, I was number nine, but- Still a high number? Still high. <laughs> I didn't really get to pick. Uh, I like it, man. Uh, so, check this out, a complete off day, Coach don't have you doing nothing, you're not working, you're not doing anything. Where would we find you and what would you be doing? You would find me still out the field doing some type of drills and just getting better. Getting better? Yes. We definitely like that. Who is a running back that you truly admire? Somebody that uh, maybe you try to emulate or it could be somebody in the college or pros, somebody you truly got a lot of admiration um, for? Saquon Barkley. Um, a lot of people tell me we run a light, and I've watched his high school highlights, and they look very similar to mine. I, I said Willis McGahee uh, back when he was at Miami. I, I, I think you guys run very similar, but I could definitely see Saquon Barkley as well. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how hard do you work when your coaches aren't watching you? Fifteen. Ah, <laughs> great answer. Uh, what's been your favorite run or play that you've had at Ohatchee throughout your whole entire career? Uh, definitely the punt return last year against West End. I had two for touchdowns that game and three for over 200 yards. Uh, that's pretty, pretty solid right there, my man. Um, what's been your biggest hurdle, something you've had to overcome in your career? Um, tenth grade, I wasn't the starter at the beginning of the season. I had to prove myself and I was the starter by the third game. Nice. Um, you look across the field, is there a certain team that would get you more excited or pumped up to play? Who, who would that team be? 
Um, it used to be Piedmont, but now it's five. Five. Both powerhouses. Yeah. I noticed you're going for the big dogs. <laughs> um, let's see. If you and Coach Martin were on an off day and y'all jumped in a boat together and cruised down the river from, from his house, and fished all day, who would come back with the most fish? Definitely me. I became a fisherman this summer. <laughs> <laughs> so do you practice your fishermanship as much as uh, as you do your football skills? No, uh, not really. I <laughs> went like three times and I caught some monsters. <laughs> I like it. Uh, who or what position would you play or want to play uh, offensively um, other than running back? Uh, slot receiver. And what about defensively? Uh, I try to get a DB all the time, but coach never lets me. And never lets you. Mm -hmm. Too valuable on offense, huh? Oh, no. um, what's a hidden talent that you have? Something that uh, your normal fan or somebody in or around the community wouldn't know that you you have? I tell everybody, but they don't ever believe me. But I can sing. Ah, <laughs> what style? Are we talking R and B or what? Yeah, R and B. Mm. Ah, uh, we might have to do that coming <laughs> yeah. up, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now it's time for some would you rather questions. So I'm going to ask you, would you rather do this or this? All right, you ready? Would you rather go hunting or fishing or play golf all day? Uh, probably go fishing. I'm not very good at golf. Okay. <laughs> would you rather be president of the United States or the richest man in America? The richest man in America. All right. Would you rather have a free vacation anywhere in the world but you gotta go by yourself, or have half off and get to take your family. Uh, I'd probably go by myself. <laughs> <laughs> My mom don't ever let me. You think? I'd probably go out of the country, like London or something. All right. Would you rather eat fast food or home cooking? Home cooking. All right. This next one's gonna be pretty tricky. Would you rather, for the rest of your life now, feel like you're about to sneeze? Or have the hiccups. Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> ah, this is another tough hiccups. one. Would you rather give up all social media forever, mm. or eat the exact same meal forever? Give up all social media. <laughs> I don't get on it very uh, much anyway. Would you rather have a pause button in real life or a rewind button in real life? Uh, definitely a pause button. Does that have more <laughs> uh, I would want one. <laughs> would you rather have a fully charged device forever, whether it be tablets, phones, whatever, or a full tank of gas? Full tank of gas. All right. Would you rather become worldwide famous or worldwide powerful? Worldwide powerful. Mm. Would you rather? <laughs> this is gonna be a funny one too here. <laughs> Would you rather rock a green mohawk forever or walk around with one eyebrow? A green mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that's our last one. We'll be All, right. All right. Coach Martin has changed Ohachi, uh, the whole program, the city and everything. Um, what has he personally done for you in your life? Yeah, he's taught me a lot about leadership, a lot about being focused. He, he always preaches about that in practice and definitely the leadership role. All right. You guys made a very deep run in the playoffs last season. Um, what are some of the steps you personally are going to take to get your team to that next level and on to win the state championship? Um, it started this summer. I pushed my team harder than I've ever had, and I worked as hard as I've ever done. Um, how's your recruiting come along? I know a lot of teams are interested in you. How, how has that come along? Has it been a headache or has it been a blessing? And also, do you have a favor? Um, it's really been a blessing, but um, my favorite is Georgia. The Bulldogs. You know, so. mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, <laughs> all right, every Friday, you get a goodie bag from Finley K. Yeah. Could, uh, who is Finley K? And could you explain why you get that goodie bag? Finley Kate is my coach's niece, and she's my best friend. And I got the goodie bag because this last summer I helped her family move like for a whole week, and we just got a good relationship ever since then. 
So now you get that goodie bag. You're looking forward to that, aren't you? Yeah, I can't wait till Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note right there, how, can you, how does it feel knowing that so many people in the town of Ohatchee and in the around the sound, uh, surrounding areas actually looks up to you? Um, you're like a superhero in some of these kids' eyes. Uh, it feels great. And I know I have to be the best me that I can be with all of those kids looking up to me. That, that's an awesome answer, man, because they're always watching. No matter what you're doing, man, that's why you got to stay. Stay good 24-7. Um, once your playing career is over with, you may go to the NFL, you know, wherever it leads you, do you think you'll ever coach football? Um, I plan on being a physical therapist after football, but a lot of people told me I should be a coach, so I probably will do that. So it's still on the docket today? Yes. Okay, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but you actually have a 3.7 GPA, is that correct? Yes. Um, you're actually being recruited by Yale. Yeah. What's that like? Because that's got to be an honor right there. Uh, it is. Um, that's Ivy League, my man. Yeah, I, <laughs> I haven't really talked to the coaches, but they send me letters and stuff. All the time. They invite me up there. Awesome. Um, what other sports do you play? Uh, football, baseball, run track, and last year was my first year ever not playing basketball. All right. What's your favorite sport besides football to play? Uh, basketball. Basketball. But even though I don't play, I still enjoy doing it. Um, when you finally choose a college and you go off to play and further your career, what are you going to miss most about the town of Ohaji? Um, All the love and support. Definitely. All right. Well, now, when you was growing up, this could be a family member, a coach, just anybody you know. Who was your biggest influence? Who is somebody that you really, really looked up to? Um, definitely my mom. Just works hard. All right. Now, I got a last question. It's a two-part question. Um, and then I got something to give you right here. Um, give me a personal goal coming into this season some goal that's kind of stuck out in your mind that you want to set for yourself. And then I want you to give me an overall team goal um, that you're going to try to hold everybody on the team accountable for. Um, my personal goal was 2,500 yards and 50 touchdowns. So that's why I really worked hard this summer. And my goal for the team is just to push them as hard as I can every day and help them excel and be the best they can be too. I like it, man. All right. Um, as you can see on our backdrop, um, Sparks Orthopedics and Sports Medicine help sponsor Average Joe's in the backdrop. We always like to present a shirt from them. Did you, Dominique? You can hold that up so everybody can see it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Thank you, Dominique. Thank you.